Everyone are aware of Pixel Experience ROM, the standalone ROM for many smartphones, brings a pure stock Pixel experience to your old smartphone. So this ROM comes with a few features or Pixel 4 ROM, which is based on Android open source project. So even though the name implies it brings a Pixel experience, but there are some features this ROM is lacking or Pixel 4 ROM. So like you cannot get advanced features, for example, the focus mode, live captions, voice recorder, Gcam. 7 and more. This is where the Google Pixel 4 ROM comes to the picture. The Pixel 4 ROM is a direct port for Pocophone F1 which brings all features of Pixel 4 smartphone. Let me say this, the Pixel 4 ROM for Pocophone F1 is by far the most stable Android 10 ROM out there which many users are using it as a daily driver. I believe this ROM is an SGSI and if you check the about page of the device, you get to see the device name is written as Pixel 4 rather than Pocophone F1. So don't be confused with Pixel Experience ROM. The Pixel Experience ROM is a standalone custom ROM based on Android open source project and the Pixel 4 ROM is a direct port of Google Pixel 4 for Pocophone F1. So both aims to provide a Pixel experience but Pixel 4 ROM stays at a number one spot because of its stability and features that it offers over standard Pixel experience. Now the ROM looks quite similar to Pixel Experience and it is based on Android 10. So this ROM is preloaded with a Pixel 4 launcher, it comes with an app drawer and sadly there is no option to hide any application within the launcher which is sort of bummer. There are a lot of live wallpapers added into this ROM, I mean seriously, even you get to see older Pixel live wallpapers which are pre-cooked into the system. Now at this point I'm not gonna bore you guys talking about every single feature some real Pixel 4 features are included in this build which you cannot find in the Pixel Experience ROM. Now starting with number 1, the all new Google Assistant. The Pixel 4 ROM comes with a new generation Google Assistant. The all new Google Assistant comes with a new UI which can be invoked by saying OK Google or you can swipe diagonally from the bottom corners. According to Google, the all new Google Assistant uses a three complex algorithms to understand, predict and act upon what you're saying which actually requires 100 gigabytes of data storage and a network connection to operate. The deep learning techniques make the Google Assistant more powerful than any other virtual assistant out there in the world. Number 2 Live Captions The new Pixel 4 ROM now lets you preview the live captions from a video or audio. This feature can be accessed by triggering the volume buttons. From here you can simply tap on the icon to enable the live captions. Keep in mind this will draw over other applications to preview the live captions from the content. Let's say if you are playing a video from YouTube or listening to music, the live captions will automatically transcribe for you which I feel is stupendous. Live captions will automatically trigger whenever it encounters any speech from the application. Now that being said, at number 3, the Pixel 4 camera. Unlike other Android 10 custom ROMs, the latest Pixel 4 ROM comes preloaded with a Gcam 7.0. The stock camera on this ROM lets you shoot high quality pictures and a video of up to a 4K at 30 frames per second. Some of the features that this Gcam 7 includes time lapse, portrait, slow motion, Google Lens, and Night Sight. So at number 4, we're having a focus mode. So within the settings, inside a digital well-being and parental controls, there is a new option you get to see known as a focus mode. I guess this feature is known as app limits in other ROMs. So the focus mode lets you block the applications from distraction. So let's say if you are getting distracted by any application, you can simply select the multiple applications and disable them with one single tap and that's it now you can freely start reading books and don't worry these applications will no longer bother you at any cost now the last feature of the Pixel 4 ROM offers is the voice recorder so this is a super intelligent voice recorder that I have never seen in any smartphone that automatically prepares a transcript for you so you can simply start recording your speech and it will automatically convert into a text. So this is so damn cool to record the lectures in the classroom. So once it's done recording, you can quickly uh, jump to the timestamps by simply choosing any word. So how cool was that?
Now that's it, now you understand why it is called the real pixel for ROM or standard pixel experience. Now talking about normal features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, LTE, VoLTE, fingerprints, Google Pay works fine without any issues. Now when you speak about the performance, oh boy, it is simply super impressive. It's super stable and proactive. From app launching to gaming, everything was butter smooth. I can say the gaming is much better than the standard Pixel Experience ROM. Also, the battery backup is super good and I do get a 5 hours of SOT with medium usage. Now it's time to talk about cons of this ROM. So number one, a back gesture conflicting with the keyboard. So when you start typing something using a swipe gesture on the keyboard, the standard system back gesture will stop working. So this is not a big deal for me, but some users are complaining about this issue. So number two, LTE issues with Geo. So if you are a Geo user, then you might have faced a network fluctuation issues. Because of this, the battery may drain up much faster. So number three, the software updates. I seriously don't know if this ROM gets OTA updates or not. I'm quite skeptical that this ROM will not gonna get a monthly security patches or software updates. That doesn't mean you cannot use it as a daily driver. So whatsoever, I'm not at all bothered with any of the cons which I have mentioned. So the bottom line of this video, if you cannot afford to buy a Google Pixel 4, then install this ROM on your Pocophone F1 and get a pure Pixel OS experience. So again guys, this is a super stable Android 10 custom ROM out there for Pocophone F1. Give it a shot and let me know in the comments down below about your experience. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This is your boy KSK Royal. Peace out.